Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 Amethyst in NBA 2K22 Monty as of right now. I'm recording this on the Thursday, right before the big day of drop. So there might be a few Amethysts in the, few amethysts in the set tomorrow that do outweigh some of these guys. But honestly, I don't think so because these guys are really, really top tier. So they would have to drop some like damn, damn good ass Amethyst in tomorrow's drop. But anyway, guys... If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below. We'd really appreciate that. It would help the channel out a lot. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. At number 10, guys, we got De'Aaron Fox. He's a point guard, shooting guard, 6'3 height, 6'6 wingspan. He's got 76 three ball, but on this game, that's honestly fine. 80 mid-range, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 80 driving dunk, 85 perimeter, 85 lateral, only 78 steal, but honestly, he's not he, he plays good defense, but he's not there for defense. 95 speed ball, 89 ball handle, pretty good passing. So honestly, in my opinion, he's kind of like a budget IT. Just with the actually, he's like a budget rose. He's a budget rose. He's really fast. He can dunk the ball pretty well. He's like a budget rose, but he has way better defense. So he has the defense to him, but he's got gold acrobat, fast switch, giant slayer, pro touch, silly finisher, unstrippable, got silver feelers, and post riser, shooting badges. He gets some okay badges. He gets gold mismatch though. But playmaking, this is where he excels at. He get Hall of Fame downhill, gold bullet, uh, glue hands, quick for step, stop and go, tight handles. He's got silver dimer, silver floor general, space creator. He's got bronze ankle breaker, bailout, hands for days, and quick chain. Defensively, he does get bronze pickpocket, interceptor, silver pick dodger, ball stripper, ankle braces, and gold poke stick. So I really, really like this Darren Fox. His release is Paul George, John Wall, normal. His release is really, really solid. I do really like this Darren Fox. He comes in at my number 10 spot. Number 9, we got Amethyst Scotty Pippen. He's small forward, 6'8", six 7'0", foot wingspan. Now, Scotty Pippen is just known for his defense. 93 perimeter, 93 lateral, 80 steal, 92 pass reception. Even got a 74 block with a 69 interior. He's got 86 speed with ball, 86 ball handle. His three ball is pretty good at 74. Again, for, for catch and shoot, he'll be fine. 88 speed, 88 acceleration, and 86 vertical. He's pretty fast pretty fast as well 85 German is good he gets a lot he gets he gets every shooting badge in the game so if you're gonna buy this card i'd probably badge him up give him catch and shoot gold give him blinders gold give him core specialist gold ah uh, but like give him green machine give him hot hunter maybe even limitless spot up right just to make him a better shooter but this card very very good defensively play making badges okay but defensively badges this is where it's at hall of fame off ball pass gold chase down clamps interceptor intimidator pick dodger pogo stick top defender silver hustler post lockdown and bronze menace surprised he doesn't get pickpocket but hey whatever finishing badges you got some decent ones he's got a bronze post condition so he's a blade blade uh you can make him a blade blade at least he's got golden triple so the finisher pro touch posterizer and silver acrobat fast switch and fearless finisher release is scotty pippen jump shot 30 what's this what's jump shot 30 sky pippen Okay, so it's just Sky Pippin, Sky Pippin. Okay, so it's just Sky Pippin, Sky Pippin, basically. So this uh, guy's release is pretty, pretty good. I've heard it's not the worst, but also not the best. So I do really, really like the Sky Pippin card. Six foot eight high at small forward. It's pretty, pretty nice. He's just a good lockdown defender, but can also shoot three pointers. So Scotty Pippin comes in at my number nine spot. Number nine and number eight are kind of similar. Scotty Pippin and Jimmy Butler are kind of like the same card. Jimmy Butler's six foot seven, six foot eight, but he can play a six foot eight wingspan, but he can play six shooting guard. So that's a big upgrade in my opinion. He is 78 three ball, so a bit higher than Scotty. 84 speed, 84 acceleration. He's got 90 perimeter, 91 lateral, and 90 steel. He's got an 80 driving hook, 80 driving lamp, 81 smooth ball, 86 ball handle. So he's just a cone. So finishing badge doesn't matter. Shooting badges, he's got pretty good shooting badges. He's got really, really nice release. Defensively, really, really solid. Silver clams, intimidator, pickpocket. You know, he's got bronze poker stick, pick dodger, interceptor. Hall of Fame Hustler, that's a good badge. He's got that gold bullet, space grader. He's got silver downhill, neo threader, stop and go. He's got some pretty good shooting badges, bronze sniper, green machine, volume shooter, difficult shots. And he's got like gold acrobat, feelus, and slithery. So his release though is money. So he's got a better release than uh, Scotty. Again, not sure what it is. Uh, let me see. Not sure what his release is. Mitch lower. Mitch, Mitch base is good. Uh, let's see what his upper is looking like. This website is so slow sometimes. Holy shit. I may, I may have to like know the releases and TJ Warren. Okay, so this release is pretty good. I do like, I do really like Jimmy Butler's release. Uh, so yeah, he's a really, really solid card in my opinion. Kind of similar to Scotty Pippen, but I think he's really, really good. Comes in at my number eight spot. Number seven is a card that just came out recently. It is Dennis Rodman glitch. He's six foot seven, six foot ten wingspan, power forward center, but he's glitched. He's got an 89 three ball, 88 mid range, which is exceptional. Defense 90 interior, 85 lateral. 90 block so he can guard interior and perimeter with that uh not really perimeter but he can like guard a shooting guard small four like if he needs to guard him on the hash or something he's got 80 driving hook 95 standing speed doesn't really matter rebounding 95 offensive 94 defensive he's a rebounding monster 
absolutely rebounding monster with a 95 vertical. Shooting badges, he does get gold blinders, catch and shoot, core specials, green machine, hot sunner, shed shooter, slippery off ball, volume shooter. He's even got silver limitless spot up and can get every badge in the game. Here are his finishing badges, playmaking badges, he can get every badge in the game. Probably want to give him some of those, maybe bullet passer as well. He's got Hoff rebound chaser, which is exceptionally good in this game. He's got a snag rebounds. He's got gold rim, intimidator, brick wall, box, chase on ours, Tass defender, worm, and silver, silver defensive leader. And his release is the Kemba, uh, set shot, set shot 17, which is the Kemba Tumbo's lower base, which honestly isn't the worst because then the problem with the Kemba is his upper. Uh, it's kind of like the Kemba's uh, upper. I'm pretty sure, actually, is this the, is, these are the exact same releases to Kemba, right? No, he doesn't, but his release is better than the Kembe's in my opinion. It's actually pretty good. I'd probably run him at center, though. Maybe I don't know about power forward. You seem too slow to run a power forward. So I'd run him at center. He might be undersized, but hey, he'll probably hold it down for you. But he's really, really solid in this game. I think he comes in at my number seven spot. Number six is a card that literally just came out, I think, two days ago when I'm making this video. He's six foot three in height, six foot seven wingspan, 83 three ball. By the way, he can play point guard, if anyone didn't know. He played point guard, 83 three, 84 mid range, 89 steel, 89 acceleration. His defense, man, for a point guard is exceptional. 93 perimeter, 94 lateral, and 92 steel. That is insanely good. He can dunk it with a 65 very easily. 89 ball, uh, 89 smooth ball, 86 ball handle. Good passing. He's pretty fast with 89 speed. I think I said that, but that's pretty fast. His finishing badges, gold giant slayer, silly finisher, unstrippable, bronze acrobat. He's got some pretty good shooting badges here. He's got silver mismatch. Playmaking, really good with gold bullet, bailout, dimer, floor general, glue hand, space creator. He's got bronze, ankle breaker, downhill, quick first step. All really, really good badges. Defensively, monster, the Hall of Fame ankle braces, clamps, interceptor, gold intimidator, menace, pick dodger, pickpocket, silver talus defender. Or sorry, gold talus defender, silver hustler, and silver poker stick. His release, uh, it's pretty good. I'm not going to check because, again, this website's too slow. But I do know that release is really, really good. So I really like Drew Holiday. He comes in at my number six spot number five is i think one of the best point guards of the game i think it's the best amethyst point guard in the game fred van vliet he's point guard shooting guard of course six foot one six foot two wingspan 83 3 83 mid range 88 speed 80 acceleration defense really solid with 85 perimeter 85 lateral 85 steel 88 smooth ball 89 ball handle and good passing can't dunk but that doesn't matter badges wise really really good again guys this guy has really good badges as well but he just plays so much better than his stats and badges say this card just plays like 10 times better than what i'm going to read to you e even though he has good badges as well so hall of fame giant slayer gold silly finisher silver acrobat silver uh, bronze fearless he's got gold catch and shoot green machine hot hunter mismatch expert he's got silver dead eye rhythm shooter sniper stomp pop playmaking a lot of really good badges he's got bronze quick first step silver quick chain hyperdrive he's got handles for days bailout even got gold stop and go neil threader floor general dimer bullet passer He's got silver clamps, interceptor. Uh, he's got ball stripper, gold pickpocket, pick dodger, hustler. Man's a defensive demon as well. And release is really, really solid. Giannis and uh, release 27. I have this card. He was really, really nice. I really, really like Fred Van Vliet. He comes in at my number five spot on the number four. Number four is another Raptor, boys. Shout out the Raps. I'm a Raptors fan, so shout out the Raps. Uh, he's small for power for Kawhi Leonard. Six foot seven. And he's seven foot three wingspan. We all know about Kawhi's long ass arms. 83 84 mid range 83 speed 83 acceleration defense 91 perimeter 79 interior 90 lateral 75 steel but man he plucks everybody and only a 51 block but trust me these two bad these two stats do not matter for this card he plays way better than those 80 driving dunk speed with ball and speed does not really matter on this card pretty good speed though uh rebounding again he rebounds better than it says badge wise again basically just a lock you should look at defensive badges he's got hall of fame mothball pest ball shipper clamps he's got uh, gold interceptor intimidator pick dodger pickpocket silver hustler menace bronze chase down and bronze post lockdown here is playmaking here is shooting pretty good shooting badges actually for quiet leonard and here is finishing badges and his release is ray allen base all you really need to know about this card, exceptionally good Kawhi Leonard. We got, I, I didn't go over him too in depth because you guys already know what Kawhi Leonard can do. Kawhi Leonard, really, really solid card. On to number three. Number three is uh, Amethyst James Harden, who came out as an unlimited reward. So basically, you had to win, or you still can. You have to win five unlimited games to earn this card. Any tier you're in, doesn't matter. You don't have to be in the highest tier. You don't have to be in a certain tier. Just You could be in silver tier, five five wins, and you get this James Harden card. He is really, really nice. So he's six foot five shooting guard, six foot ten wingspan. 87-3, 84 mid-range, 86 speed, 86 acceleration, 88 perimeter, 89 lateral, 85 steel. So he's glitched, so they made him a defensive monster. 80 driving dunk, 86 speed with ball, 87 ball handle, good passing. Rebounding's not even the worst, but badge-wise, he's got Hall, Hall of Fame fearless finisher, gold acrobat, fast switch, pro touch, silly finisher, silver giant slayer. He's got gold blinders, circus threes, mismatch expert, stop and pop, 
Silver, Catch and Shoot, Chef, Green Machine, Limitless, Lucky Number 7, Rhythm Shooter, and Volume Shooter. So he's got the Limitless and Chef badge, which are really overpowered. The only bad thing about this card is you can't upgrade any of these badges, but still still got some really good really really good badges you got gold bailout bullet passer dimer floor general hands for days quick chain quick first step silver stop and go on silver defensively gets gold clamps which is insanely good silver pickpocket pick dodger intimidator and he's got bronze menace so man's a defensive monster as well because he got glitched in the defense release james Harden, james Harden are normal i really like his release honestly i think i'm very chicken with him i think he's a very chicken card so james Harden comes in at my number three spot Number two, guys, is this Amethyst Josh Smith. He's kind of like Dennis Rodman, but on, on like way better than Dennis Rodman, in my opinion. He's power forward center, 6 foot 9, 7 foot wingspan, 74 3 to 74 mid range, 84 speed, 84 acceleration with a 90 vertical. Look at this defense, guys 91 interior, 88 perimeter, 86 lateral, 88 passing perception, 88 steal, 92 block. So he's a better interior, but can still very easily guard the perimeter. He's just, a, he's just an all around defensive god. 90 driving dunk is insane so this card is just a slashing defending monster look at these badges hall of fame pogo gold chase down gold rim silver clamps interceptor intimidator can menace can all be upgraded as well pick pick pot pick pocket pick dodger and he can get pick pocket playmaking badge doesn't matter shooting uh feeding badges doesn't matter he's still be able to shoot wide open if you're good with him he's got hall of fame limit uh, sorry gold limitless post riser Rise up to so the finisher, silver acrobat, fast switch, reels finisher. His release is honestly pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Like not insanely good, but he's very easy to shoot with. So I really, really like this Josh Smith. He comes in at my number two spot. Now guys, on to number one. My probably favorite card in the game right now, to be honest with you, is this Donovan Mitchell, shooting guard small forward, six foot one, six foot ten wingspan. He's got 86, 3, 86 mid-range, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. His defense is really, really solid in my opinion. 88 perimeter, 90 lateral, 88 steel, 80 block, and a 79 interior. Somehow he seems glitched to me in defense because he can guard interior pretty well. 90 driving dunk, 93 speed with ball, 88 ball handle, really, really good passing. I think I mentioned his speed, right? I don't know if I did, but 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 93 vertical. Very, very fast card. And look at the badges, guys. 15 bronze, 29 silver, 13 gold, and 1 hall of fame. Just look at these badges. Look how many badges he has. He's missing four here. He's missing five here. He's missing six here. And he's missing seven here. Like, he's barely missing any goddamn badges. Like, look at this shit. I'm not going to read all this because this shit could take literally the whole video. But look, look at all these defensive badges. All on silver. All amazing. Playmaking all on bronze pretty much. But some good gold. With gold quick first step. Shooting badge. You got gold sniper. You know, you got you probably should add chef to him. But you can add chef. Like, I got chef on gold right now for him. Uh, he's got like really really good badges finishing like he's just an all-around uh, Offensive and defensive god and his release is super super money jump shot four is Richie Gurn base I'm pretty sure he has the same release as Richie Gurn and I love love Richie Gurn So Donovan Mitchell is my best and with this in NBA 2k22 If you guys made it this far in the video, let me know what you guys thought of my list These are my 10 best amethyst. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll cut you in the next one peace